All right, what's up, everybody? Listen, we got a uh, we got some work to do, man. I've got twelve of these tokens, so it's gonna be a little while. But after I burn all twelve of those tokens, I will be able to pop open a six-star crystal. So that's the game plan for today. We get a tweet out so we can begin super quick here. Dearest Shrat Marvel Champions. Um, last time I did, um, hmm. last time I finished up the, um, side quest, uh, you gave me a six star Aegon, which six star will you give me today? Uh, all right. Uh, okay, let's finish the side quest. Give me six star Aegon. Tweet. Okay. What's up, everyone? Uh, Bushido Brown. See you in over a pound. Thank you very much, dude. Uh, with no message, but <laughs> don't worry. The message, it came through loud and clear. It goes something like this. <laughs> Slap. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it, man. You take that down. Your name will pop back up in just a moment. Um, yeah, thank you, dude. Uh, wait, do you have a message? Hey, Baldiful. Guess who did their first path in Abyss? Wasn't difficult as I thought it would be. Nice, dude. That's awesome, man. Congrats. Congrats on the Abyss clear. Yeah, it's very... It's, the, the, the Abyss, as long as you have the right champions, it's not that it's super difficult. It's just that it's... It's an endurance match, you know what I mean? It's very long. <laughs> it's very long and... Uh, um time-consuming and whatever other adjectives you want to use for something that's really long all right anyway let's let's get to it so uh real quick i have so the, the current plan is this guys assuming i don't mess anything up uh i want to make sure that i can get the 10 percent uh tier 5 class catalyst fragment crystal uh first so i'm gonna be doing the legendary difficulty first and then epic uh, after that to get the 2006 star shards, which will give me a uh, six star crystal. So uh, Assuming I don't mess anything up Let's get to it. Let's get right on to it uh, Which champs do I want to use we can toss in torch actually I'll probably keep magneto. It's fine and Yeah, we'll get some more Some more of them tech champs, which, which champs was I using last time? I think I was going with something that looked a little... Actually, we don't even need Magneto. Screw that guy. Oh, you know what? I was using the other Magneto. That's right. Now I remember. Let's do that. Okay, so... Blade. I was going to put Fury on the team for a little bit extra attack. I did that one time. But then the second time I came through here... Here we go. I want that pre-fight ability. Um, and we got a few synergies here that are nice, too. So... Sure, let's do it. How long will this take? I don't know. Um, listen, you guys gotta stop spamming. I'm seeing a whole bunch of spam already. Stop. You're gonna get timed out. Chill out. Uh, it's Tej sending over one pound. Thank you very much. Appreciate the pound. Saying love your vids. Well, thank you very much. Appreciate the support. Thank you very much. Maximus. What's up, Maximus? Saying, uh, lurking to completion, <laughs> must complete adult duties, sup, buddy? Those damn adult responsibilities, man, I hear you. <laughs> I hear you, dude. Um, but yeah, dude, uh, good luck being an adult. It's not fun, but you're right, sometimes it has to be done. Uh, <laughs> uh, Maximus, thank you, dude. Uh, Caltrops, or, or wait, Evan Sanders sent it over to saying... Caltrops, Pants, in new variants is an MF. Suggestions? Uh, which, is it, is it with the mutants? I'm guessing. 
Because a lot of mutants can take advantage of stuff like that. I didn't read the new the new nodes. Because, I don't know, I just kind of assume that they're pretty similar to previous nodes. They buff up your champs like crazy. Um, kind of thing. But, uh... Yeah, if, if, if it's for the mutant quest, there's a lot of mutant champions with bleed resistance. If you have the apocalypse... Um, horseman synergy thing, whatever you want to call it, making other champs horsemen. That will be good. Um, if it's for another class aside from mutant, then, well, I don't know. Just any bleed immune champ will do. But you also, do, uh, just a reminder too for the for the side or not for the side quest for the monthly event quest for Cavalier. Um, oh wait, you said variant. Oh man. Evan, I'm totally out of it. I was focused on that fight. Caltrops in the variant. Uh, okay. Well, if it's in... So, variant 6, I'm guessing we're talking about here then, right? So, Magneto is uh, a villain. Omega Red is a villain. Ghost is a villain. Um, let me see. The better robot champs. Like, Warlock are actually not villains. Um, hmm. But yeah, those those are the, the options that immediately come to mind. There's certainly other ones. Uh, if anyone else wants to throw out some good villains that are also bleed immune or highly resistant, please feel free. Uh, oh, I mean, actually, I guess the... Um, most mutants aren't villains, but there are a couple of others that you could turn into horsemen, I suppose. Uh, but yeah, man. Thank you very much for the two. Uh, Intoxicated Gamer. What's up, Abby Doe? Sending over a buck. Where's yours at here? What's up, Brian? I too am mad as hell about Tier 12 of George, and will hoard all content from now on. Thanks for the advice, F Kabam and Scene 2. What? Oh my god. Yeah, I shouldn't even have made that video. I feel, I guess <laughs> I read the co I read a couple of the comments and uh It was like, ah, you don't need to defend yourself. And I was like, crap, is that what it sounded like? I didn't mean to be sounding like defending myself. I genuinely just wanted to help people. <laughs> and I thought that that was a good way of helping people by just giving them the understanding that you don't have to do content right away think about resources before going into it type of thing but uh whatever at this point uh <laughs> people people will get it i guess uh but thanks dude expedition bbq sending over bugs saying my team was warlock cap marvel fury white mags and sunspot solid team very solid sounding team um i dude i wish i had a sunspot i would toss sunspot on the team with Warlock all the time together. They don't even have like the craziest synergy together, but they synergize and they're both fun as hell. And I would totally do that. Alright. Put on the pre-fight. Yeah, let's do it. Alright, uh Terrence Jager sending over five. Thank you very much, Sam. Been watching for free. Figured I would kick in some. Uh, took six star guardian to rank two unawake unawakened uh, no regrets oh man nice dude <laughs> yeah dude guardian's pretty sweet he's another champ that uh, uh, well I did want and now I have um, but I still I actually still want him as a six star because uh, his synergy I don't know if you're aware of this you might you might be aware of this since you have the six star but uh, his synergy actually becomes more powerful the higher star level he is. So, you actually gain a little bit more block proficiency having the 6-star versus a 5-star kind of thing. Um, so, yeah, man. That's an awesome champion to have because, what is it, 12? I think it's 1250 block proficiency you get. That's a pretty solid amount of block proficiency for your entire freaking team. Uh, we're talking like 5k block proficiency then. Wait, does he include it or is it just the, the other form? Um, either way... Thank you very much for the five, dude. Appreciate it, man. Metal Bro also sent in over a buck fifty with a banana. Uh, thank you, dude. Saying just got six star warlock. Already have five sixty five, so I didn't really want him, but I can't exactly be mad about it either. Uh, dude, if I had a five sixty five, I would still be stoked as hell to pull a six star, man. 
<laughs> Morlock is the type of champion that, uh, I don't know, man. In my opinion, you can't get enough of, like... You might not need to rank him up immediately, but he's the type of champ that you're going to want to rank up later, so. Yeah. Uh, congrats, dude. Ryan, did you, see, did you see Fat Man's rework? He looks like a real pain in the ass defender. Does he? Uh, I looked into it slightly. Um, he didn't seem too bad on defense. It is, like, a lot of people, I think, are going to be playing the... Uh, the XL, the large and XL, um, what's it called? Alliance War, global, defensive tactic, whatever. Um, so I could see him being placed a lot, and maybe on the right note, he'll, he'll be a pain. But to be honest, he didn't seem like it was um, that bad. Uh, just check my tier 2 outfit. I'm less than 3k away from rank 5 Red Goblin. 3k away. 3 K pain. <laughs> Dang, MSD. Uh, seriously baiting rank 3 in Guardian over Warlock and Guillotine on Awaken just for the true northern defense. Uh, where are those dual 6-star crystals? Man. It would be sweet, pretty sweet to have them, but at the same time, I don't know. Warlock is so good. But I hear you, dude. Uh, Guardian's pretty sick. Uh, Chiefs or Buccaneers? Is that a Banana Buccaneer. Uh, I don't I don't really watch football, so yeah. I got no uh I got no opinion on it. The only I made a poll at one point just asking if people did watch football only because I had inadvertently planned my final abyss path on the Super Bowl. <laughs> so yeah, but I, I'm not actually into football myself. All right, long shot. You almost done there, bud. Thank you. What does Prestige do? Um, all right, so Prestige is like the ultimate end game stat. It's totally meaningless until you get deeper into the game, essentially. Um, but I'll give you the rundown on what it does anyway. But do not pay attention to it until you're already like knee deep in six star champions, okay? So Prestige uh, is the champion's base hero rating. So the, the, the champion's rating that we have that you're looking at right now, like Warlock is over 16,000. That's because of masteries and also synergies that I have on the team. And I'm not boosted, but boosts also affect the uh, the total PI of your champions, the, the power index rating. Um, Prestige, however, sets all that stuff aside and it's kind of hidden in game. You need to actually use like outside resources to take a look at champion's base hero rating or just reset all of your masteries and, and then you can see it as well. But for the most part, people use tools outside of the game. There's a, an amazing website called uh, Ant May that uh, if you're not already using this website, well, it's incredible. And then there's, um, you know, prestige lists and prestige calculators that you can find all that info. But anyway, like I said, don't even worry about that till you're knee deep in six star champs. So that is the champion's individual prestige. Then there is your accounts prestige, your, uh, your, your summoner level prestige, I guess you call it. And uh, that averages the top five highest prestige champions that you have. And then goes one step further into uh, your alliances prestige. And here's where it actually does matter a bit, but again, only for very end game players. Um, your alliances prestige is the average of, of every member within it and uh, basically it increases the difficulty of the opponents you fight in alliance quest and that sounds like a bad thing why would you want to make things harder uh, until you realize the harder it gets the more points you get and then the higher you rank the more rewards you pull in overall man loves beans the reason why i say don't pay attention to it until you're knee deep in six stars is because you're going to increase your prestige uh at a, at a much more rapid rate by ignoring it and ranking up champions to get through content. Uh, you'll pull in more rewards that way that will increase your prestige. So it's, uh, it's once you're practically out of things to do in the game that um, prestige really starts to matter. All right, so Habe sending over a buck. So Habe, thank you, dude, saying tomorrow my banana will get bushier. Ooh. <laughs> The old bushy banana. Nice, dude. 
thank you very much for all the continued support. Uh, can't wait to see how it looks on you, man. Can't wait to see your your bush. Oh god. Uh, yeah, thank you, Soheb. Uh, Hodge, Hodge TC, sent it over to. Thank you, dude. Just saying, hey, BG, what's up, man? How you doing today? Hopefully you're doing well. I don't know if anyone out there is uh, is grinding along in this side quest that uh, after today will thankfully finally be all said and done with over once and for all. Won't have to ever come back to this thing again. Oh, man. Whew, what a grind this one was. But I've got more to do, so let's keep moving. Um, all right, up to 63. Let's go. Really hope, one, one, I mean, once I finish the uh, the 10% tier 5 class catalyst, I need to pay very close attention to not screw this up. There's no room for error in this quest. Uh, Dan, Dan P, I, I forgot, I always mess up your name. Dan, thank you very much for the 25, Ron saying, sub BG, uh, top counters for uh, Falterish, Poisonous, 6.3.5 Mysterio. Will red mags be any good? Oh, and Mysterio is not armor break immune anymore. Uh, thanks, man. Um, was was that a node giving him armor break immunity? Because he. Oh, actually, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Actually, he was never armor. Yes, yeah, so that must have been a node. Okay. Uh, I don't know what the counter, the top counters for that guy are. I'm sure Magneto is pretty decent, but uh, I'd also imagine someone like Medusa would be pretty good, or, you know, just someone that can armor break. Um, but let me see. So I remember the, no the node where, like, if he gets enough gases or something like that, he puts a poison on you, I think, right? Uh, I don't remember the exact interaction with the falter. Um... But yeah, I would say someone that can armor break, or I'm sure Magneto would be good. If anyone's recently gone through there, uh, who did you guys use for the 6.3.5 Mysterio? Because I only fought him uh, pre-nerf, and that dude was, wow, what a pain. Um, Fury at the time was like pretty decent, but these days I imagine that now that you can armor break him, I imagine there's better options. Or, I mean, Torch was pretty decent at the time too. Uh, Hodge saying I use Torch and Magneto for that Mysterio. Okay. Yeah, if anyone else has other options they use, pop that in the chat. Because, like I said, I only fought him, uh, pre nerf. Uh, Vision Arcus. Okay. Seeing a lot of Magnetos. Magneto, Stealth Suit. Okay. Yeah, um,. If you're already saying you have red mags, that sounds like that's the way to go, dude. So I would I would bring him along for sure. Uh, wait, okay, subs in uh, just did two paths uh, against him with Magneto, almost solos with Magneto. Okay, yeah, there you go. Seems like Magneto is the way. PG, what is Medusa useful for? I just uh, ranked for her. She's my top champ, and she is Sig 22 five star. Oh man, I gotta say, um, if you already have her ranked up and she's your top champ, you should know what she's useful for, dude. <laughs> um, I don't want to be insulting here, but dude, if you have her as a as a 455 champ, she's your go-to. Um, uh, wait, 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 hold on. Just ranked for her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so it is a five star, but um. Her best use is shutting down robots. Her best use is armor shattering robots. It means they can't gain power anymore. Their ability accuracy is uh, sent to the ground. Um, she's also good just at dealing damage without without being too complicated. Because um, her, her, her furies just come naturally to her over time. Um, she can handle things like caustic temper, which you're probably not seeing too much of yet. Uh, which you need a Fury and Poison Immunity, essentially, to deal with that type of node. Um, buffed Up is another one that she can deal with where you need three buffs of any kind. And, of course, she gains three Furies, even without Synergy. So she's good for that. 
Um, but yeah, those are some of her uses. It's gonna kill, so we don't have to watch a special three. No, oh, it, ooh, got the crit at the end there, nice. Did kill, I didn't think that was gonna happen. Sweet. You don't screw it up like me, BG. Went into Legendary 1X, not thinking. Rip 2K, 6 star shards. Ugh, God, dude. That is painful to hear, man. I, I might stop, like... Uh, I might, I might like, go back and forth, almost. I don't know if that's going to make things more confusing for me. <laughs> to go back and forth uh, between Epic and Legendary as I get closer. But, uh, yeah, I really don't want to mess this up. BG probably already know this, but Cole is a great champ to fight the Wolverine and X-Pool in this quest. Um, the Wolverine and X-Pool. I mean, those champs are pretty easy either way. Um, the champs that I want to bring a counter to this quest for, really, like, this rogue is one of them where I want a... Uh, it's, you know, it's nice to have the white magneto pre-fight um long shot is another painful one and i mean i guess that's pretty much it honestly and then i guess you want some uh god come on rogue and then i guess um having uh the, the frost immunity for Iceman is nice too rogue use your special thank you and i don't want to have to use my special three you gotta be like that, Rogue. Alright, let's let it rip. I wanted to get the infection before I used it. BG, do you know what making Omega Red a horseman does? Um, probably not a ton, to be honest. He, he, you gain prowess as a horseman, and uh, Omega Red, he doesn't really rely on his special damage. He already has bleed... Um, resistance, so he doesn't really need more bleed resistance. Uh, you know, I, I, he benefits some from being a horseman, but nowhere near as much as compared to some of the other champs. Brian is the cutest man alive. You don't understand. He's the Emma Frost of real life. Like you, cute bro. Okay. Um... Enough for that guy. I think you've had a little too much to drink. It's only, uh, I don't know what time it is there for you, but it's only 1.28 in the afternoon here, man. <laughs> Wait till the beer goggles wear off. You're not going to be saying the same thing about me. Could have took Magneto to rank 4 or Medusa, but I chose Medusa because I suck with Magneto. They're both good options to have ranked up. Um, both pretty awesome. Alright, let's go, Iceman. Had enough of your games, too. Domino Trinity annihilates the side event. I mean, the thing is, you don't really need too specific of champs to annihilate this event. It's just long. Uh, I kind of wish I had Suicide Masteries on right now, but uh, I don't really want to put them on just to help speed this up. So, I'm going to leave them off. Some temperature going. We're gonna melt this long shot. I got no real reason to evade the special one. I gotta remember that. Just block it so that I can gain my charges. Burn this guy down a little bit faster. This should kill him, I think. Okay, good. Chicken tenders, and then over to, thank you, dude. Let's see where your last one is at. Sure, once the beer goggles wear off, he'll realize that you're not cute. You're just very handsome in a rugged kind of way. Yeah, rugged with the classic good looks, of course. That's, uh, I think that was how I, I think that was my yearbook quote or something, man, you know? Uh, thanks, Chicken Tender. Just rank 5, my Awakened Warlock over my Cap Sig 130. Was that a good decision? In my opinion, yes. I think Warlock... They're both great champions. 
Like, I have both of them ranked up. I have no regrets about having them both ranked up. But I think Warlock is overall the more useful champion between the two. And if I could only have one, it would also be Warlock. You like Nirvana? Um, oh, they're okay. I'm uh, more into metal music. I listen to all types of music, but... Um, I think they're just okay. Brian, have you ever went outside? Uh, let me stop you right there. There's more to your message, but the answer is no. Uh, Brian, have you ever went outside and said that guy looks like a specific champ from MCOC? Well... Even if I did ever go outside, which would never happen. The world's a scary place. Um, that is 50%. Okay. Uh, no. I've never done that. Except for the one time that I, I saw... Um, uh, well, Comic-Con. <laughs> I was going to say I was gonna say a Spider-Man. But no, man. At Comic-Con, you see like a hundred Spider-Men. You see uh, pretty much everyone that you could ever think of. Who's going to be better, Yellow Jacket or Kingpin? I have no clue, but I'll tell you this much, man. They're very different champions. You probably don't want to compare the two to one another. One is a, uh, a science champion with power stings. The other is a uh, an XL, XL dude that looks like he ate the entire buffet. Um, and has all kinds of interactions with debuffs that he can shrug off and things like that. Uh, K-pop. Yeah, I don't listen to much K-pop, but again, I listen to all types of music, so. It's not like I dislike it, it's just I don't really find myself listening to it, um, much. It's never my, uh, go-to. Let me put it that way. Later, Colossus. I shouldn't have even thrown that special, too. That wastes, like, a good three or four seconds of just... Sitting there watching the animation that we don't need to watch. Are you going to try playing other games on your channel? Ah, uh, I don't know. I was going to try uh, Realm of Champions. But, I don't know. There was, there was a lot to do in this game. And uh, I kind of just never even tried it. Uh, please don't spam, dude. Now I'm seeing that message twice. At least twice in the span of like 30 seconds. That's too fast. Um... All right, let me see here. Let's go back to quests. And if the game will let me go back into the quest. Thank you. Dude, it's taking forever. Yeah, when it comes to other games, though, I, I like I, I play other games from time to time. But at the same time, there's a lot of other things that I want to do outside of gaming. And this was never really... I, I know this is going to sound stupid to people who are newer to the channel here. But I never really intended on having a, a, a gaming YouTube channel. Just kind of fell into it. Um, it's a whole story with trying to make a website and failing to make a website and whatever. I don't need to get into all the details. But that's why I uh, don't really have too big intentions of... Uh, Making it into a more than MCOC type of channel. How much did your PC cost? Uh, the one I'm currently streaming on. Uh, I got this PC five years ago. And all said and done, the parts I think cost me... Hmm... I don't remember, actually. Um, let's see. The CPU, I think, was about 350. So it was an i7 for whatever year it was, but it was not even the unlocked version. Um, and I'm using a 1060, so I think that was like 300 bucks or something. So it's probably in the neighborhood of like 1200, if I had to guess. The PC that I'm, I'm trying to upgrade to because i feel like i'm due for an upgrade here the one i'm trying to upgrade to uh when it's all said and done is going to cost me um 
like 2000s. Uh, maybe maybe even a tiny bit more. How'd you get so good? I just been playing a lot, man. Uh, I'm not even that good. There's there's people that are uh, that are better than me at the game. But you know, you do something long enough for been playing this game for like five years now. <laughs> you get you start to get pretty good. You start to understand the things that need to do to get through quests and all that. At this point, the website is basically Half-Life 3. Sort of. I mean, at least I acknowledge it, its existence. <laughs> Where, uh... Yeah, Valve, they just can't count to three, but... Yeah, at the end of the day, the result's the same. Neither exist. Alright, good. Play this right. Don't have to wait for that L3. When is Abyss? It's probably gonna be Friday. I'm, I'm, I'm leaning towards Friday, at least. Is it me or the stream lagging a bit? Uh, I don't have any dropped frames here. So, for once, my internet's holding up all right, but I am seeing a little bit of lag in the in the playback on YouTube, so it might be on YouTube's end. Um, yeah, I think, I think it's on YouTube's side of things, but I, I got no lag on... Uh, my, my, uh, trust me, I'm very quick to throw Comcast under the bus because they have really been screwing up uh, my internet for the past couple months here. But today they're actually good. Gee, when you're opening crystals, why do you look at another screen instead of the phone? Uh, I'm looking at my, my computer. Um... I don't know, it just makes makes more sense to. It's not only is it a larger screen, but uh, then I'm also not looking down. It actually looks like I'm looking at the crystals, which of course I'm looking at the crystals. Everyone who everyone who opens uh, uh, everyone who opens up a crystal, they're gonna look at the real, right? And when I keep my head up looking at the, the screen that's uh, on my computer. Oh, son of a no! I was not paying attention. It's pointing at my damn computer screen. It just looks better. Uh, Evan Sanders sent it over to saying, Next rig, go AMD. Intel has been slacking. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's the plan. I have everything picked out. The problem is there's nothing in stock. But uh, I'm getting a 5900 uh, when it's available. It's just a matter of who knows when it's going to actually be available. Uh, it's it's going to be it's a um, 5900 and the uh, the graphics card I want is the 2070. But honestly, even if there was a 2080 available. I would uh, spring for the extra little bit there, but neither of them are available. But if I could just pick something off the shelf, I would I would go with the 2070. All right, Iceman, you're actually gonna hurt me today because my warlock he got he got annihilated. I need you to throw that special, bud. There we go. All right, let's see if we can stun lock him here a little bit. Ooh, we got it. Uh, nice. <laughs> 49... Was it 49k heavy? Oh, my God. Yeah, I was really not paying attention there. I thought I was good. Just realized I've never seen BG wear a hat. Now I want to see BG wear a hat. Um, I got a, I got a weird head, man. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell looking through the screen that my head is, uh, uh I think it's kind of large. <laughs> so, I've tried on hats before, and, uh, I don't know, they just never really looked right. Actually, Laura says I look good in a hat, so, I don't know, maybe I'll try it once again at some point here. How many runs are left? A bunch. 
I don't know how many. Micro Center, bro. Are they available in Micro Center? Because most people that I know are, well, from what I've seen, people are literally making hundreds of dollars of profit per card on eBay right now. So I can't imagine a retailer being in stock. Like there's, there's live streams of, um, of just like people, you know, running programs to, to check stock on all the major uh, online retailers. You can find these live streams on YouTube and uh, it shows that everything's out of stock every time you go to it. Like they have sound alerts and stuff like that. So if you hang out in there long enough, but there's so many people trying to make money off that stuff right now that it's like, dude, even spending that much time, like, God. I don't know. Anyway, uh, I'm going to use Torch for this fight. What's up, Ghost Dog? Hey, BG in chat. Doing the most boring content in the game? Yeah, dude. It makes it a little bit less boring when, uh, when, while streaming it, but... BG, could you restart the stream? No, man. It's it's on YouTube's end. There's nothing I could do about it. It's... It's, it's just YouTube. Um, there's nothing I could do. There's, there's actually, there's one thing I could try that might reduce the amount of data that YouTube has to process that maybe would help. Uh, maybe would help them not chug along so much the way it is. But it is an issue with YouTube, not me. Hang on. Try it after this fight here. Okay, let's see. Um, okay. Uh, we'll try that. Might see a slightly reduced uh, clarity in the stream, but hopefully it's not too bad and hopefully it helps. But again, it's just on YouTube's end. UG, please don't buy a 2080. A 3070 can keep up and cost way less. Oh, oh, did I say 2070 or, or, or 2080? I, I meant to say 3070 or 3080. My bad if I did. Um, yeah, no, I, I, I want the new cards. I don't want the old ones. Um, the, the, the 3070 is, is the one I want. Uh, and like I said, I, I would also get the 3080. I, I don't really need it. I've looked at all the... So basically, I, I don't really play games, PC games, anymore. And the, the games that I do play, I I don't care about the... Like, oh god, did not let me go open crystals. Um, the graphics, it doesn't really matter too much. I play like Dota 2. You know, esports titles, they don't, they don't really demand um, having the, the, the craziest software. And even then... I usually don't run games maxed out <laughs> just because, I don't know, I'm used to it from uh, wanting to have, like, the best performance and stuff like that. But what I want this stuff for is for video renderers. And uh, I looked at the difference between a 3070 and a 3080, and it's not that big for uh, what I'll be doing. So ideally, I could just save a little bit of money and get the 3070. But, honestly, whatever comes in stock first that I could find, I will just get that, pay the little bit extra. I just want the damn thing. <laughs> but I don't want to pay the... Uh, the. Not only do I not want to pay, pay the scalper price, but I also just don't even want to support that practice, you know? So... A little bit of both. Uh, Dysentery Joe, what's up, dude? Sanding over Buck, thank you, man. Saying, I've never seen BG wear a rainbow afro wig uh, as often as, as he should, anyway. I was gonna say, you've seen it. <laughs> Don't lie and say that you haven't seen it. Maybe not as much as you'd like, <laughs> but you have seen it. Thank you, dude. Appreciate it, man. 
had issues with youtube all morning i don't think it's your internet this time bg yeah no it's definitely not my internet i can tell when it's my internet um it's it's youtube i don't i don't think reducing the uh basically all right so basically the way it works i give a little bit more details um when you're streaming you can control how much data is being sent to whatever streaming platform you use and uh it's something called bitrate um and there's limits on it depending on the platform like you could only send so much data anyway or i think on twitch maybe it might it might be capped out depending if it, like you're a partner or something i don't know anyway on youtube um the maximum they allow is six thousand um uh, for your bit rate and that's what i normally stream at and i drop that down to 4500 which just reduces the amount of data that they have to process and get out to everybody but i don't, I don't think it's really helping too much i'm still seeing a bunch of uh stream issues so it's it's totally just something youtube has to figure out Havoc or Guillotine 2099, rank up for Act 6.1. Uh, Guillotine 2099 for sure, man. Um, Havoc is not going to be great with the amount of tech champions they have to go up, up against. And um, the amount of immunities that he's lacking for certain fights that you're going to need immunities for. So yeah, Guillotine for sure. Uh, playing with Eye Hulk really makes me wish they double the duration of his rage stacks. He needs something. He definitely needs something. Uh, how do you stay awake for so long? Uh, where's your OJ? How do I stay awake for so long? Dude, it's it's 1.47 in the afternoon uh, where, where I am here. So, yeah. It's not exactly that hard to, to stay awake for the few hours that I've been up. I've been practicing my entire life staying up for several hours at a time. I've gotten pretty good at it. Uh, stroke of a saber. Send it over a buck. And Enzo. Whoa, Enzo. What's up, dude? Send it over 50. Saying the best deal in this game is you with three whales. Dude, you're giving me a three whale rating? Oh my god, Enzo. <laughs> the highest rating. If you guys don't know, Enzo has a, uh, a rating system for offers that come out. And uh, it goes from three crabs to three whales, basically. Crabs being uh, bad offers. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, the highest of compliments from Enzo. Thank you, dude. Thank you so much for the 50. Appreciate it, man. Um, stroke of my saber, Senator Bucks, saying, Hey, BG, what's your thoughts on the side event for this month? And a random act of kindness. I've uh, offered my elderly neighbor $20 to try out her stair lift. I think she's going to take me up on it. Ugh. <laughs> Ew, man. Well, that does sound fun. Um, yeah, my thoughts on this event quest. Boring. It's the same quest over and over again. I don't know. I feel like I've talked it to death at this point, so I don't want to go too hard on it. But essentially, an arcade game. An arcade, like, within a game. Sounds like it's going to be super fun. Like, you guys ever play Final Fantasy VII? The arcade in, uh, I think it's like when you get to disc two or something like that. Or, well, I, I know they remade it. I don't know if it's in the, the remake yet. Anyway, there's like an arcade in there. And, hey, you know, it's not the most amazing thing ever. But it's pretty fun playing those arcade games. I think of stuff like that when I hear there's going to be an arcade event getting added. And this was um, the furthest thing from it. <laughs> I, I, wasn't ex I wasn't exactly expecting mini games to be added here. But I was expecting more than just running the same exact quest. The same... 10 fights, however many fights are in this, over and over and over and over again. Um, the rewards are fine, it's just a very bland, boring event. I think um, it might have to do with 
Um, the fact that it's like the first event of the year and most most game studios they they take like a little vacation around the holidays you know they're off for like a week or two um for you know christmas and new year and stuff like that and i don't know i have no idea if the uh the side quest event designer was uh off or whatever but i could see that being a thing and maybe just not having as much time to put uh, as many details as you know we usually get for side quests or something like that it was also a little bit um unforgiving if you accidentally clicked into the wrong quest which i haven't screwed up yet but hey i have i'm not done with it yet so i could still screw things up um i know a lot of people unfortunately just because it's so boring you just kind of go on auto, auto you know autopilot it's very easy to mess it up so yeah not a good uh, side quest. But whatever. I still, I mean, okay. I still think back to the time where we didn't always get side quests. Um, literally, it was it was a bonus thing that we got every month. So the fact that we do get something every month, I still will take an event like this over nothing at all that we used to get. So <laughs> the gold saucer. Yeah, man. Uh, the roller coaster ride, the FPS. I don't. So I. It's been a very long time since I played Final Fantasy VII. I don't even remember all the different things, but. Um. I. I like what I remember the most. Is probably just the environment. Like as you're walking around, I could I could still visualize like the backgrounds and stuff like that. Um. Just being in that arcade atmosphere is just really cool Ryan don't you think they should make more maps in MCOC uh, I don't know what you mean by maps do you mean like the background image here um I don't know the background doesn't really bother me too much but something that I that I always ask for one of one of my uh, larger requests is for Kabam to do more with the map, it's like, not not the background, but like the like the tiles and stuff. Like if there's more interaction there, where uh, even if even just like just like walking across a node, you get like a like a positive ambush in a way, um, where you get like a little heal that goes off or something like that, or you know maybe. For the, for the story events, maybe to get people more into the story, maybe instead of it just being some text to read, maybe they also um, give you an option. They're gonna they're gonna help you out in some way or, or, or something like that. And I don't know, just a little bit more interactivity with the with the um, the map itself. Um, so if that's what you meant, then yeah, I would love to see more stuff like that. But the backgrounds itself, I don't really look at the backgrounds too much. If that was what you meant. Oh, man. All right. Almost done with uh, the highest difficulty. And then we could breeze through on, on Epic to finish things up. Ready to rank 3 Aegon after Abyss 100% PG? No. No, I'm not ready to do that. Um, stream is stuttering periodically. Yeah, it's it's on YouTube, Zen. There's nothing I can do about it. Um... What was I going to say? I, I've been holding out for this Kingpin buff. We don't, we still don't know what his low SIG level prestige is, but I'm still hopeful that it's going to be a prestige increase for me. I mean, like technically anything is going to be a prestige increase for me because my prestige is so garbage, but I mean, I hope it's going to be like a, like a meaningful one. Like he's going to get the, uh, the 12 K low SIG level treatment give me an option to rank up and if not then I don't know what I'm gonna do but that's where my skill tier 5 will be going complaining because the side event is so easy it makes it hard I mean it's one way to put it I guess there's been significantly easier side quests that a lot of people have really loved 
Um, like the Gwenpool goes to the movies. A lot of people love that one. Um, I didn't personally. I didn't uh, enjoy it too much, but that was definitely one of the uh, more beloved side quests. Um, get better internet. Thanks, man. It's on YouTube's end, though, so tell YouTube to get better internet, I guess. <laughs> Some people, man. What the F? And maybe I need to put a, uh, a, a pinned comment. Streams lagging because of YouTube's issues. Um, everything Joe fix it will get a buff. I got him as my first six star. Probably. I mean, that dude kind of sucks. I, th I think he's actually not... Like, his his abilities... He had, a, he had a lot going for him. For, like, an older champion. He was actually pretty involved. So, if Kabam just tuned up his numbers, I actually think Joe Fix it would be a solid champ. Man loves beans. Uh, Emma or Void to rank 3, Emma unduped, and Void dupe at SIG 105, thanks. Uh, yeah, I would personally go with Void. Emma, I don't think is a uh, rank 3 worthy champ, personally. I think she's solid, but with the amount of amazing uh, mutants that we have in this game, I would totally go Void. Uh, Slayman needs revives, sending over a buck. It's a good name. Saying, any tips for farming revives for the Abyss? Also, would a 6-star rank 3 void at SIG 30 work better than a 5-star rank 5 void at SIG 140 for Abyss Gulk? No. Abyss Gulk, you want the highest SIG level possible. Um, your 5-star your is going to do better for that. Um, I think... Damage-wise, I can't remember the exact test that uh, an alliance mate did recently, but I think I think he said that a Sig 200 was like out damaging his Sig 40 or Sig 60 void or, or something like that. You know, 565 to six star rank three comparison. But especially anytime you're looking to reverse healing, you just want to get as many debuffs going as possible as as, as quick as possible, and the five star is going to be better. Um, as for um, farming revives, so I don't farm revives in the way that some people farm revives. I don't go out and uh, there, like there there are some quests that you could run over and over and over again. If I remember the numbers correctly, I want to say it's like four point one point six and five point three point six, something like that. But I don't, I don't do that personally. Um, what I like to do is just try to hit all the revives from the 22-hour solo events. Uh, which, of course, take time to build up, but they're very easy to get. Even the event quest completion these days used to be a, an incredible pain. And it still is a pain to max out the quest, but to get the third milestone, it's really not too bad. You don't have to pop any energy refills as long as you uh, are playing the Cav difficulty. Um, so yeah, I get all those. Then I also try not to collect the revives in the um, in, in the in the quest that I see them in. Like as I'm going through the monthly event quest, I'll save that quest and I won't pick up that revive until I'm getting closer to getting ready to do the abyss. And you can save a good, you know, four or five revives uh, over over a month doing that. Um, of course, you know, farming, uh, arena for, for units, um, can, it can be converted to revives. Uh, and the reason why I, I rather farm arena over, like farm the, uh, the quest that you can run repeatedly is just because the arena gives everything. It doesn't just give units or revives the same way that like farming a quest over and over would, um, and Marvel Insider is another great tool to look at. They don't always have revives available, but um, sometimes you can find packages with revives there. And yeah, that's pretty much all I got off the top of my head, at least. Might be forgetting uh, a small way. 
but yeah I, I like i don't i just don't claim stuff basically right away so the uh the the revives that i get from the 22 hour solo events i will leave those in the overflow until they're about to expire so you essentially have a week in the overflow and then when you do claim them you have another two weeks in the other part of your overflow once your inventory is capped out so essentially you have three three weeks and if you're getting the revives every day that's 21 revives on top of the 15 that you can hold in your inventory naturally or higher if you have the sigil but even without sigil you know we're we're, we're talking about 35 revives that that you're gonna have um just from the 22 hour soul events so yeah, i hope that helps uh, at least to uh some extent um but yeah i i'm not a fan of doing the uh and and some people are so if if that's your thing running the the same quest over and over cool but i'm not a fan of it um I think arena's better, and if you do finish all the milestones in the arena, and then have some extra time left over, I mean, that's the best of both worlds, but not many people have time like that. Jake Contender, sanding over a buck. Saying, I wish this game had a better way of delivering the story, because I really don't know what's going on in 99% of the game besides the collector and Grandmaster beefing uh because mom said it's my turn with the isosphere yeah dude i i hear you man it's it's one of those things where like it's kind of the player's fault but at the same time the devs could be maybe doing more with it too like because there there is a story in the game and some people love reading the story and they know what's going on <laughs> but uh uh, a lot of us just end up skipping things. Um, and like I said, that's that's our fault. But at the same time, like I said, there's little things that uh, could be done to make players more interested in the story. Um, one of the ways... I mean, I, I so I just mentioned one of the ways they could do it by maybe having some NPCs that, you know, offer up some, like, help or something like that. And they could maybe say, like, why they're helping you real quick. Um, I don't know. You gotta, you gotta be careful with that stuff. You gotta, be, you gotta limit it. Otherwise, you know, it could get annoying, but it could still help people help bring them more into it if done sparingly. Um, or l on a larger scale, something like act six, like, you know, like I mentioned for act six, I actually liked the, uh, uh, or, well, well, I, I definitely didn't mind the four star restriction when everyone else really hated it, but I did say that I wanted it. I wanted there to be a way to lift that restriction, um, but like through the story. So like when you beat a boss or something like that, you know, maybe you're just like weakening the, weakening the defense, the the force field that the area has around you, and now you could bring in, you know, a certain class type of four stars or or you know something along those lines. Um. And if you do little things like that, that will pull people more into the story. Uh, well, I shouldn't say little things. That's That probably takes a lot of work. I think that's what it comes down to is I'm sure Kabam has a million ideas of what they could do to make uh, the story more interactive too. But it all takes a tremendous amount of work. So, I get it. Anyway, World's Finest Dudes sending over five. Thank you, dude. Saying, so I'm about to do 6.1.4, and I always hear about the X-Bones boss. How does his fight work, and what champ should I bring? Send a tweet. Thanks, Brian. Sure. Let me check it out real quick. So, he's got poison. He just has a poison node. Um, did you send over a tweet? I, I'm not seeing a tweet here, dude. Are you on private? Is your Twitter set to private by any chance? I'll, I'll keep an eye out, but... Uh, hold on, let me see where I'm at. Okay, two more on Legendary. Alright. Still good here? Yep, okay. Um, yeah, double check. Make sure your Twitter's not set to private. And if it is set to private, after 
uh, making it not private, then you have to, like, re-tag me. Just, like, add a comment to the original tweet uh, with at contest champ, and I'll be able to see it. But anyway, the, the way the fight works is um, there's kind of two things that you want to play around. One is just the fact that uh, there's, there's a poison node, so you want to have poison immunity or a champion that can shrug off the poison debuff, like Ghost. Um... Or you could also survive it with like willpower of healing or something like that. Um, the other part of the fight that's kind of important to know is that Crossbones, uh, he heals. So as you're trying to take this guy down, he's he's healing back up. So you either need to bring a champ that can, that can do a lot of damage or... Uh, you know, stop the healing in some way. So Warlock or Sentinel spamming special one, things like that can can be a good heal block source. Um, and then, I, well, I guess there's a third part, which is the global node that I forgot to uh, mention. So the third part of it is uh, you only gain a bar of power when the opponent gains a bar of power. Um... So you can't really use champs that rely on like special three. Uh, even special two gets a little bit dicey because you know crossbone special two is kind of a pain to uh, try to evade or just block or something like that. So ideally uh, you're relying on champs with special ones. And yeah, that's the way the crossbones fight works. It's it's not the most difficult fight. It's just at that stage of the game when you're just getting to an area where you can only use five and six star champions needing somewhat specific champs um that's kind of what makes it difficult if you don't have the champs it's gonna be a real pain is that a super tangent was that a super tangent it's like a four minute tangent cgr sucks uh, okay. First person I ever heard say that. Uh, wait, we have a second one. CGR basically has no utility, but good for damage if you don't have Corvus or Cat Marvel. Whew, uh... Yeah, I don't know if you've seen players use Cosmic Ghost Rider in Alliance War. Um, <laughs> but he's like a boss killer and stuff, so... For 6.0.4, you can use any Poison Moon champ. Kind of. I mean, they also need to deal damage, though, because otherwise that healing is going to get you. Alright. I think this will kill. Good. Hello from Texas. What's good, y'all? What's up, man? Welcome. 1829, God, for 6.0.4. Yeah, 1829 is a great champ for it. How many runs left? Uh, I'm not sure. I think I'm on my second to last run for the Legendary, and then we'll be cruising through Epic. Um, and yeah. We'll go much faster to finish up Epic. Broke my leg, Baldy? Thank God it was just a dream. You broke your leg in your dream? That's weird. Although, I mean, I guess that's what dreams are. Just kind of weird nonsense sometimes. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, at least that didn't deal much damage. I thought I parried her, but she was no one special. Whoops. Uh, make, compared to the utility of Cap Marvel slash Corvus, Cosmic Ghost Rider is a decent, uh, or is a damage dealer, not someone to replace Corvus slash Cat Marvel. Indestructible Beasts. Uh... Yeah, I don't know if I agree with that. Um, I mean, they're different champions, of course. So, just like in, you know... I mean, that's kind of the name of the game here. Is you you got to use different champions to get through different areas of the game. Which is why I don't bother ranking them. But uh, I'm seeing Cosmic Ghost Rider get used a lot more frequently than I'm seeing um, Cat Marvel get used, to be honest. Corvus still gets used probably more than any Cosmic Champ because of Alliance Quest. But... In war, I see um, Cosmic Ghost Rider get used more than both of those champs. Um, and yeah, Cosmic Ghost Rider can even do things like the Abyss. 
Okay, let me see what we got here, though. So, Omega Red will be a great option. Yeah, I would I would just go with Omega Red, dude. You you can use other champs that you have here, like Sentinel, Aegon, if Aegon's awaken, that is, which he is. Um, you can use other champs, but Omega Red's gonna be your best bet. Um, you know, Vision will be all right too, but yeah, Omega Red, just keep the spores up. You don't ever have to use your specials. Keep spores up, keep the, the heavy attacks going, and yeah, you're not gonna have an issue with a 565 Omega Red. Believe it or not, they actually made the, the fight harder for Omega Red because the, the, it used to have Biohazard. So it used to be like a walk in the park with Omega Red. Um, just having that like infinite death uh, field active. But even without death fields, regardless if you're running suicides or not, a 565 Omega Red is going to be able to handle that fight. So... You're good to go, man. Good luck to you. Uh, you sent over a, another buck, too. Thank you, dude. I'm guessing that was for the retagging on Twitter. Uh, let me just double check. Uh, resent that to me. Okay. All right, yeah. Yeah, thank you, dude. Like I said, good luck to you. Uh, Evan Sanders sending over another two, saying Unit Man is by far the best champ in the game. He's pretty good. He's, he's pretty solid. Um, the synergies that guy has. Whew. You don't even need to play him. It's just his OP synergies. Brian Cornholio Grant. I'm tired. What's up, Cam? What are you so tired for? Were you uh, doing more mathings of the MCOC variety? Got a little bit lucky there. Uh, I'll take that luck. Sure. I forgot technically I could just go balls to the wall with this guy. Just fight him as he's unstoppable. But I never want to actually lose my torch because then the last fight will be a pain. Will I play like a coward. Well, we get through. Don't make the mistake I did, BG. Get epic uh, all the way through or get nothing for your trouble with one uh, non-epic run. Dude, I'm going to try not to mess it up. I really want the 10% tier 5 class Catalyst too, though. So I'm like trying to do both. Um, yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pay very close attention. Does anyone remember when you could cancel a special attack by parrying it? Oh, yeah, dude. Venom special too. That was the that was the one <laughs> when he just lunges at you and then instantly gets stunned. That was the uh, that was the one everyone did it on because he was the boss of Alliance Quest and everything. IBG from America. Hello. Some people uh, just don't understand this one simple fact. A poop ton of damage is a form of utility. Yeah, being able to blow up a fight before um, anything actually happens, before the opponent could actually do anything. It's pretty great. Um, Cosmic Ghost Rider, he has other utility too, though. It's not like he, he's dry in that category. He's just a really strong champ. Uh, damage is the best utility for sure. There's healing. Uh, out damage it. There's power gain. Kill them before they gain too much. There's damage over time. Kill them before they kill you. Yeah, pretty much. Gee, how good is Spider Ham? Well, when he's not out there crashing games, hopefully uh, we see the fix for that soon. When he's not crashing everyone's games, he's solid. Um, he's just not the type of champ that you need to use all the time. Um, but whenever you need a power sting for some of the nodes that uh, appear later on in the game, um, he's a beast for it. Probably the number one champ for it. Um, but other than that, you don't really need the champ for anything. Uh, actually, I think he's like okay on defense too. He's not great. But uh, the little guy, he's kind of annoying to fight. So he's an okay defender. He's he's fun, though. Um, I have him ranked up. 
I don't play him much, but I could see myself playing him just for fun on occasion. Uh, and if you're a bit newer to the game, like, yeah, he'll he'll do fine. If he's like your best um, science champ that you've pulled so far or something like that, he'll do fine. Burn, Colossus, burn. Yeah, man, 17 Novas. Ugh. Ripped to shreds. BG, what do you think about Super Scroll? Do you think he'll be a god tier? There's no way, dude. I don't I don't really bother speculating before champs come out. There's no way to tell um, if a champ's going to be good or not before we actually get our hands on him. But if you guys missed it, I made a poll uh, asking which champ you guys wanted to see a quick start guide for uh, Super Scroll or Psycho Man, and everyone voted for um, Super Scroll, so I guess that's what I'm doing. I could still try for both, but yeah, more than likely, only going to get the one. All right, make sure I'm not messing this up. So I got to do Legendary one more time, and then Epics. Okay, I've got six tokens. I'm actually going to do one Epic right now. This way, in case I do mess something up, I have like that one that I could I could botch on this. But I'm going to start paying real close attention here. Let's see how fast this goes on Epic. Lead immune, incinerate immune, bypass miss, unblockable, power gain, uh, extremely high block efficiency, power lock, fade seal, uh, energy mediums, incinerate damage. Yep, no utility whatsoever. Yeah, man, he's 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 got utility. <laughs> That's why I was a little, uh, I don't know, like, the full list of utility that he has, but, yeah, that's a pretty good list right there. Uh, ooh, nice. This guy only has 35,000 health. Yeah, this is gonna go much faster now. Sweet. <sighs> and hopefully, I can get Doom. Um, it's a long shot here, man. There's, like, what, 156 stars or something like that? Uh, in the basic pool, so maybe maybe not exactly 150, but there's a lot, and um, I, I I really want Doom more than anything, so it's probably not gonna happen. But hopefully it's someone that I can make use of. Currently exploring 6.4 and having trouble with 6.4.2 special kind of sword path. The one where you need prowess. Any tips here? Uh, Magneto is amazing for it. Um, Sunspot is good for it. Um, uh, I mean, really, a lot of the uh, mutants, they, they kind of deal with prowess. That's kind of their thing. So, Emma has prowess. I can't remember. Do you need... It doesn't need to be a buff, does it? It can be passive? Or... Can I remember with that one? I'm trying to think who I used for it, because I didn't have... Like, Magneto wasn't, wasn't buffed at the time. And I also don't have a 5 or 6 star sunspot. Who did I use for that quest? I might have used Emma. Yeah, I don't know, but um, basically take your pick of the, of the mutant champs. Um... And maybe if, if passives can be used, then uh, making, if you have Apocalypse, making them a horseman. That'd be an easy way. At the moment, Sp Spider Ham is amazing on defense. <laughs> yeah, that's true. With disconnecting players, yeah. Need a quick start guide for Cosmic Ghost Rider. That one might be tough to do. I, I, I think I think any champion... Age of Savvy, still, okay. I think you can make a quick start guide for any champ, but certain ones... Probably going to need the, the advanced version of a guide to, to really understand them. And with Cosmic Ghost Rider having uh, different rotations and things like that, that might be one of those where it's kind of best just to have a, a more advanced guide. But I can still give it a shot. How's the rank 3 Morningstar treating you? Haven't played her outside of the arena yet. Um, I was... Uh, Lags hit me up one day asking if I wanted to do a... Uh, what's it called? An incursions run. But I was working on the, 
the first quick start guide at the time and yeah i just wanted to finish that up so but i'm sure soon enough we'll get to play uh christian williams sent over five of them australian bucks thank you dude saying abg i don't know if you remember me but i did end up completing 6.4 yesterday and close to throne breaker nice dude that's awesome man keep it going dude Getting so close, you can taste it, right? Um, but yeah, man. That's awesome, dude. Congrats on clearing 6-4. Good stuff. Thank you very much for the 5 as well. Uh, champion I really want at the moment is Warlock. He's a beast. If you look up Griffin for honor, it's Old Man BG. Prove me right. Griffin for honor? Uh, I don't know what that is or what that means, but we take a quick look on the internets here. Let's see. Griffin for honor. This guy? I mean, I guess he's like pretty standard white dude, which I guess that describes me pretty well. So, <laughs> it's, I guess. Uh, oh, core dude, he sent over Buck too. I didn't even realize it. I was gonna, I was looking that up either way. But thank you, dude. Appreciate it, man. Man, if it's tradition based, uh, at least one of the champs next month is gonna have an absolute laundry list of abilities. Now, we don't know if Brian ended up having it easy with doing a uh, quick start for scroll. Maybe? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, Orange Juice sent it over five. I mean, hold on. Let's back it up for a second. Either way, those videos, that Warlock video took me 20 hours to make, all right? I, I'm, I'm hoping that the next one only takes me like 12 to 15 hours. But... Um, yeah, <laughs> we'll see. So either way, man, there is no easy making of those guides. But in any case, yeah, I get your point. It could be easier depending on which, depending on how the champs are. Anyway, Orange Juice sent it over five euros. Thank you, dude. Say what's up, BG. I really hope the quick start guide videos become a regular thing. Really enjoyed it. Short, sweet, and to the point. Also, read last. All right. I am going to make them a regular thing. I can't do it for every single champ, but yeah, it is going to be a regular thing, by the way. Uh, make sure you pay attention once you finish your legendary runs. Got all the way down to my last arcade on Epic to get 2k 6 star shards. I have the tier 5 class Catalyst Crystals, and I entered legendary. I was very angry. Yeah, man, I'm going to try to be as careful as can be here. Um, a lot of people are in the same boat as you. Uh, it kind of sucks. So, sorry to hear it, man. But uh, thank you very much for the 5 and the warning. I will definitely be... Uh, paying very close attention. Uh, Ziski, what's going on, dude? Saying yo yo BG, pan fried some breakfast potatoes this morning. Ah, oh, dude, I love breakfast potatoes. Uh, then dipped in ketchup. Your fave potatoes? Fries, tater tots, baked potato skins, hash browns, uh, no key other. Hash browns, dude. Um, yeah, hash browns, number one. I, dude, I love potatoes, though, man. It's. You know, it's funny, I haven't really eaten potatoes in a long time, like of any form. The la Actually, I can tell you the last time I had potatoes was last summer, uh, coming back, you know, driving across country. We, we, weren't, we were really trying not to stop anywhere because, you know, this was like right when all the, uh, the, the Rona action was heating up. Um, which is why we were driving across country instead of flying. And um, we we're trying not to stop anywhere, but dude, it just got to a point where we were like starving. So there was a uh, there was this like one rest stop that had a bunch of fast food places open, and the lines were crazy because everyone was uh, um, thinking the same way, man. They just wanted some food, I guess. 
And, uh, yeah, it was this one place. I don't remember... I don't even remember what place it was, but, like, all I wanted was some potatoes, so... Um... They had... They were, like, fries, but they were, like, in disc form? I don't know. Like, mini hash brown type things. So... Yeah, I got a bunch of those, and they were delicious. But that was actually the last time I had potatoes. Uh, I used to eat potatoes all the time. Uh, they're cheap. They're, they taste good, because, I mean, alone, they're kind of bland, but you can make them up any way you want. And I love fries and all that. You're going to make me want to go buy some potatoes and cook them up. Um, but yeah, man, that's my favorite potatoes anyway. Thank you, dude. Is he close to the six star, anyone? Yeah, pretty close. I've got five more tokens left, but most of them need to be done on epic and not legendary, so they go much faster than the legendary ones. I have one more legendary to do, but uh, I'm just trying to be as cautious as I can possibly be. So, all right, let me do another on epic here. Let's do it. Let's go. Steak fries. Uh, I mean, I'll eat most kind of fries. Steak fries. Uh, when they're when they're like too thick, eh. I don't like them too thick. I don't like them too thin. It's gotta be just right. Um, still talking about fries here. <laughs> um, but yeah. Uh, what was I gonna say? Steak fries. Yeah, I'll still eat them, but if they get cold, then uh, ugh. I feel like they they don't they don't hold up as well if unless you're like eating them right away. My my dad um, he he was always he like I n I never really followed the, the the same way that that he ate like a burger and fries, but. He always eats the uh, the fries first before the burger because he doesn't want the fries to get cold. That's always what I think of when I think of fries. Let's talk about potatoes. It's making me sad. Attack on Titan, Season 4, Episode 8. Haven't seen it, but I'm sure other people know exactly what you're talking about. Ryan, you're a bland potato? Or a bald potato? <laughs> well, both were probably true. Thanks, Cam. What are the, what are like the really super thin fries? Because I hate those ones. Those are probably my least favorite. Um, shoestring fries? Is that what they call them? I can't remember. Or is that... Is it a different name? Either way, those are probably my least favorite. It's gotta be just right. There's a, I mean, it doesn't have to be just right. But I'm not talking about needing the perfect fry here. But uh, it has to be somewhere in the middle. Or uh, waffle fries, curly fries, all that stuff. It's all delicious. Only got three on Epic. Um, three, three to go? Is that what you're saying? Uh, I don't remember how many I have to go. I, th I think it was either three or four. Containers stream in the CCP beta. Um, people are allowed to stream in the CCP beta as long as they're not streaming embargo things. So, like, if there was a new, if there was a new, if there's a new champion coming out, um, what Kabam does is they they give people like a, a week or so, usually at least, to play with the new champ. Okay, on occasion we've only had like a day, and that's when content usually gets rushed out the most. But they. Um, they try to give people time so that they can actually figure out and understand how a champion works rather than just being the first person to go kill Winter Soldier with a new champ to get all the views. Um, so yeah, there's an embargo on it where you cannot show like new champion things until whatever date is hit. Um, but aside from that, yeah man, you could you could stream on the on the content creator beta. It's not just for making regular videos. Stream videos are good too. When they're too thick, it's like uh, biting into a tiny potato. Yeah, 
That's not always the, the worst thing, though. I don't know. But I, I hear you, dude. Yeah, when it's, when it's too thick like that. Uh, when you get a chance, can you check out my tweet? Uh, Shrek boy, sure. What is your tweet? Uh, I don't see a tweet from Shrek boy. Do you have a different name or is your profile set to private? Because uh, I don't have any tweets here, at least not recently, not in the past few hours from a Shrek boy. And <laughs> not too hard, not too soft. Brian Motown, Philly Grant, January 2021. What's up, Glory? Oh, man. It's also one of my favorite episodes of Always Sunny right there. <laughs> oh, man. The part where D... I can't... I mean, I can't repeat it because, you know, I'm trying to be uh, a little more on the family-friendly side here on YouTube, but the part where uh, D talks about getting sympathy... Um, or whatever. They're talking about the the costumes that they're gonna wear. Oh man, it's hilarious. Uh, Christopher Cordova signing over five. Christopher, thank you, dude. Saying BG, I've only done the side quest once. Too late to start now. What are the rewards? Thank you, sir. Ooh, I mean, it's not too late, but. It's quite time consuming. But the rewards are good. I, I can't show you all the rewards because I've already collected some of them. Um, but you, the, the rewards, um, the bulk of the rewards are actually in the objectives. So I'll, I'll show you after this fight what I can see. But I've, I've already collected the, um, the, the legendary rewards for the most part. So in the special tab here, you can see there's different levels of prize cards. And um, right above the uh, the top one here, the epic prize card, there was a legendary card that had like 5k six star shards and a featured five star crystal, I think, with the rewards. Um, and then, yeah, if you do enough, you could also get the 10% uh, tier five uh, class Kalos fragment crystal or whatever difficulty you're on. Like the rewards are decent. Um, if you don't feel like doing legendary, there's even a you know five star awakening gem crystal in here, so you don't have to do the highest difficulty to to get decent rewards. It's just time consuming, very time consuming. It's it's repeating the same quest over and over and over and over again. So, um, but yeah, man, uh, good luck if you are gonna start it, uh, and if not, well, I totally understand that perspective too of just waiting for the next month. You can kind of do whatever you want with the side quests, you know? But, uh, thank you for the five, dude. Expedition BBQ sent over to the five as well, saying 6.2.4 with Kingpin Boss, where you can't make contact with the opponent. Any tips on who's good to bring? I'm stuck. Um, so I used Stark Spidey for that. Um, Ghost is also another good option. Um... Because you could just phase when the destructive feedback node is going. But yeah, I use I use Stark Spidey, just built up poise charges when uh, when destructive feedback was was active, and then I would hit into him when it was down. Um, uh, and yeah. You said the tweet. Okay, uh, Shrek boy, I I see a tweet from me now. Um. Who, I mean, uh, I'm sure there's other options. Like, who did who did everyone else use for 6.2.4, the Kingpin boss? Because those are the two that immediately come to mind. But, yeah, I'm sure there's plenty others. Um, like, you could... Uh, it, it's, it gets dicey when you use damage over time champions. Because that damage over time can really screw you over when uh, destructive feedback is going. And a lot of the mutant champs tend to have some type of damage over time type things. But not all of them do. Uh, I would say Colossus is probably a good option for it, if I had to guess. Um, probably see myself using a Hyperion for it. Like, you don't need too specific of a counter. It's mostly just countering a, a very large Kingpin for the most part. 
Okay. Uh, Shrek boy, though. Let me see here. You're just looking for a champ to, uh, to rank up. That's the deal. Let me see. Um... Hmm. Unfortunately, some of your four-star champs that you've pulled are not so good, like War Machine and, and, and Captain America here. You don't really want to invest in these champs. Um, Tigra might be the, the best champ you have. What's interesting about Tigra is uh, to play her in like her best way, it, it's kind of difficult. So I'm a little bit hesitant to, to recommend Tigra for a new player. That said, even if you're not playing her in like a, a totally optimal way, she can probably still be better than, than most of the champs you have. So I'd probably recommend uh, ranking up Tigra a bit. Um, Thor gets a lot better when he's awakened. So if you get an awakening gem, that could be good. But honestly, you just need to uh, keep going and, and, and just get more four stars. You haven't gotten the... Uh, like the easiest and, and best kind of four stars to start out with as a, as a newer player um, quite yet, but you'll get there. Uh, as for your three star champs, no, you probably don't need to rank them up. I would, I would maybe just pump, pump some resources into Tigra and, and, and Thor for the time being. And then when you get more four star champs, um, you'll probably change to ranking up the other four star champs that you get kind of thing. So hope that helps. Like I said, it, 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 it comes down to luck a little bit and some of the, some of the champs that you've pulled so far um, could be better and they will be better as time goes on. All right, let me do another epic here. Maximus sending over another five. Thank you, dude. Saying, guess who still has two accounts worth of side quests to do? Oh boy. <laughs> those, those are not getting done, I take it. Oh, I can't even imagine running this on, on more than one account. Oh. Whew. Good luck if you do decide to do it. <laughs> but yeah. <laughs> Procrastination is my middle name. Good luck. <laughs> Good luck. Uh, is his Nick Fury awakened? The the three star Fury. I was looking at that, um, but without having deep wounds and only being a three star compared to the four star champs, I I don't think that three star Fury is gonna be super useful. The nice thing about Fury, I should have I should have mentioned this though, and I'm glad you brought up Fury, is that synergy wise, you probably do want to put him on the team. Um, just for the extra bonus attack that he's going to provide. Um, and if you can fit two spots, having having a, a Deadpool for the shrug off synergy can be nice. But even just for the extra 10% attack, is it's not bad. Should I max out my four-star Taskmaster? No. Now he's not a very good champion. I recommend uh, ranking up other champs and... If you don't have other champs, well, you might want to hold out a little bit until you get some some other ones. Um, if he's like your your first four star champ or something like that, you can rank him up a bit, but just don't go all in on him, you know. He's uh, he's not worth it. Gg, why are you not giving out hearts in your comments? I don't know. It's it's a weird thing. The the hearts in the comments. I feel like, uh, uh, I, I mean, I do sometimes, but uh, usually I'm just like scrolling through real quick. The the hearts, they don't they don't really mean anything. I don't know, YouTube's weird. Uh, it's weird, like, I don't know. I don't even know, all right, screw it. I'm gonna get into it a little bit. Uh, it's, it's probably a bad idea, but I feel like that that whole heart system, uh, it's it's a it's a cool system, I guess, but I also feel like it's mostly there 
to just encourage like more interaction with the chat or something like that and uh like if you genuinely really like a comment or something like that cool otherwise if you're just spamming hearts on everything you're just telling people like yes please keep commenting and i don't know i usually keep it more to like just certain comments it doesn't really matter either way to be honest <laughs> <laughs> to, to me, uh, from my perspective at least, I don't know. Anyway, David sent it over Buck saying, Why were the parries on Rogue? Uh, you were just fighting passive. I was using the White Mags pre fight ability. That makes it passive. Can someone explain how a big gorilla is going to beat Godzilla? Um, you ever played Donkey Kong, dude? Donkey Kong Country. Super Nintendo. I mean, that wasn't the first Donkey Kong, but I'm just saying. You ever played that game? Or maybe the one for uh, N64 where he busted out the whole family? If you haven't, well then, there's your answer. Play those games and you'll see. I feel like it's more of a I have read this comment thing. Maybe. I mean, that's kind of how I treat it on on, uh, on Twitter more so. So, I don't know. A lot of the comments on like on YouTube, I really just go through very quickly. Because um, there's a lot of like nasty comments that get left on YouTube. And that stuff can ruin your day. And uh, yeah, I just don't let it ruin my day, basically. So, I just go through kind of quick, just see like, uh, was there something I missed in a video, something I could maybe do better for next video, and just try to, I try to get in and out as fast as possible with YouTube comments. <laughs> you know, I used to respond to every single comment, literally every single comment that was on my videos, until I think I had 10,000 subscribers, and then it just got to a point where it was like, this is, this is too much, I'm spending hours and hours of my life here doing this. I can't do it anymore. Um, so I, I used to do that, but it's... Yeah. People are, are... Like, there's some really genuinely awesome comments on videos. And then there's the, the type of people that... Um, I, I don't know why they try to just bring down other people. Maybe it's... Maybe they're just miserable people, I guess. If I had to guess. And, uh, you know, the whole misery loves company thing. But there's a lot of people that really try to do that as, as much as they possibly can. So I try to avoid that. Comments or interaction. Interaction is, I mean, I don't know, something something algorithm. Yeah, exactly. I, I, I definitely care about how like videos perform and stuff like that because yeah it's a big incentive to keep making more videos if if more people watch the videos and things like that but at the same time i don't want youtube to take over my life and to try to like optimize everything and i feel like if i were going through harding all the comments that would just be me trying to optimize things and it wouldn't be genuine um so there James sent it over Buck. Thank you, dude. Saying we've strayed too far off topic. Back to potatoes, please. I agree. The the YouTube stuff, it's not that interesting. I think making videos is interesting. Uh, I make and watch tons of YouTube videos, but outside of that, I think the rest of it is not so interesting. It's the uh, the uncreative, more businessy side of YouTube that has to exist for a reason otherwise no one would be making content but i also don't think it's very interesting uh wait i see someone say check twitter uh, usually i just got twitter what is your twitter it's it's in the it's in the uh description Maybe that's the comment I saw. What do you think about ranking up a SIG level 40 void to rank 3? Uh, worth or better to wait? 
Uh, dude, Void, a six-star rank three Void is a beast. So, yeah. Totally worth ranking up. The video I like the most, I pour my heart into. I do a whole bunch of prep for poop for performance. Yep. The one I record in a closet while sleep-deprived and don't edit all the views. Yep. I just, I, I, I mean... That was, yeah, like the, the videos I worked the hardest on, that's that's always how it goes, man. The long shot video, spent the most time on it. It's still picking up views, so that's cool. But at the same time, I could literally just go kill Winter Soldier and be the first person to upload that kill and get more views. And it's, I try not to think about it. I just try to leave YouTube to being a more creative outlet and have fun with it. So yeah, anyway. Um, all right, cool. Let's keep moving. Uh, sent a new tweet. Check it out. Shrek boy. Got another one here. Let me see. Um, oh, you've got more than one account. Uh, is that the deal? Is that which that was just a side account for you? Who to rank up for this one? Well, this is even harder to tell because I don't know exactly where you're at in the game. You're level 60, but I don't know what content you're trying to take on. Uh, if you're already Cavalier or not, or if you're trying to go into the uh, the variants. But uh, Omega Red, if you can get him awakened, will be fantastic. Corvus, if you run Suicide Masteries, both of them would be great together. Um, and yeah, Spidey's already great, of course. Probably don't want to focus on four stars too much at this point. Um, if your voodoo is awakened down here, or if you can get him awakened, he'd be great for variant five. Uh, your other five stars, Aegon needs to be awakened too. But yeah, those are like the standout ones I'm seeing. If you already have another account, then you probably don't need help on your uh, in your secondary accounts. You already know the champs at this point in the game. Uh, Avengers X Wars sending over a buck. Thank you, dude. Sorry. Let's see. Hang on. Uh, guess who just formed a tier 5 class catalyst to rank 3's Human Torch? Nice, dude. Congrats, man. Congrats on the Torch rank up. That is a sick one, dude. I use my, I like, I really never used Torch until I got him and ranked him up as a 6 star. But now I use him everywhere, dude. <laughs> so, yeah. You're going to find a lot of use for Human Torch. Uh, when did you do your last abyss run? It's probably gonna be Friday. I'm leaning towards. Oh, hey, you're still here. What's up, Abby Dill? I am still here. Twitter, Twitter, BG. Uh, okay. Let's see what we got. Uh, <laughs> oh my god, this is your tweet. I'm once again asking for you to achieve wafer. Oh man. The wafer requests. Okay. Uh, Seth Nier sending over a buck. Thank you, dude. Saying, first time clear on the Grandmaster. Which path would anyone recommend for a first clear? Um, I think the path that I did first was the was the top right one. I don't remember the nodes all that well on those quests. Uh, I personally, I didn't find like the, the the alterations to the fight to be that crazy for for like leaving up certain nodes or, or however it worked for that guy. Because every time you do a path, it's, the the fight's going to be slightly different. I didn't find that to be too big of a deal, and I I I just wanted to do like the easiest path I could to get to the boss. I think for me, I think that was the top right one. Um, 
Tenacity, Cosmic Path. Is, is that the top right path? Because I remember there being a bunch of Cosmic Champs. So that might have been it. Uh, Adam saying Path A. Just did it. Take the Tenacity Path. Yeah, I'm seeing a lot of people saying the Tenacity Path. So whatever path has Tenacity. That seems to be the way to go. Uh, Corey sending over a buck. Thank you, Corey. Saying Brian Ye, Brian Ye Ye S haircut Grant. I don't know what that means. How the hell are you? You're right. It is a daytime, and you're still a dingus. Anyway, what do you call a peon with no hair? Brian Grant. Really, dude. I told you, I have tons of hair. It's the bald cap. It's a style. It's a preference. Actually, on a serious note, God, man, I'm looking kind of shaggy here. I really do need to clean this up today. <laughs> Hopefully, by the time you guys see me tonight, I'm looking a little bit better. A little bit less like a like a homeless dude over here. But uh, Yeah. Corey, thank you for the buck. Friday, huh? Work that day too. I still say Thursday or for totally selfish reasons. Yeah, I'm so oh oh wait, why'd I click pre-fight here? Ah, oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. So it was funny, man. I didn't need to change anything around at all. Um I totally wasn't even thinking that of like BZ did his abyss run today, and that was one of the reasons why I changed my day around. He was done by the time I would have started my run. Of course he'd be done, because he's in a totally different time zone. So. Phew, he ignored me. What did I ignore? So, I'm still craving Chinese food, and I'm still struggling to eat anything else, so I ordered a lot of food. Hey, thanks for spending your entire day <laughs> shaking your money maker for me. Oh my goodness. Well, I guess Super Chats went to food, but that's that's fine. Whatever. Thanks for uh, getting Laura some food, guys. <laughs> Appreciate it. Um, yo, Brian, you gonna rank up Kingpin? He seems good. Uh, I don't know. Um, I honestly, I, I I'm most curious about his low Sig level prestige. If he's lower sig, if he has high prestige at sig 40, then he's for sure going to get ranked up. If he does not have high prestige at lower sig level, then no, he's probably not going to get ranked up. Um, and I'll probably just keep my fingers crossed for that Thor Ragnarok dupe. Because I need, I need the prestige. I need the prestige. Uh, no one's sending over three. Thank you, dudes. <laughs> Saying here's an egg roll or something. Oh, man. Well, thanks, dude. No, no, no. Oh, come on. My health was just about to come back. <sighs> Doesn't matter a ton, but still annoying. Uh, <laughs> but no one. Thanks for the, uh, thanks for the egg roll. Or, uh, Laura thanks you at least, because... I noticed no one asked me if I wanted food. I would have said no anyway, but yeah. Yep, he was done right at uh, 12 p.m. Uh, PST. Yeah. He was done. I, I, I really didn't even think about it. I could have kept my, my abyss date today and then abyss two weeks from today. But whatever. No matter a ton. Uh, KJ Rolls sending over two. Thank you, dude. Saying, hey, BG, six star Namor or Colossus to rank three, both sig 40. That's a tough one, dude. Per All right, so I'll I'm going to tell you what I would do, but everyone's situation is different. So I would personally go with Namor. I, I, I would do it partially for prestige reasons. 
and partially just the way that Namor works. Namor, um, like both of those champs are amazing, first off. But, uh, oh, excuse me. But the way that Namor works in particular, uh, he's very momentum based. Like you want to be able to, to just finish the opponent. Once you get to your special three, you want to be able to chain your specials and, uh, and finish things up. So I got two coins. Okay, good. Um, all right, let's do the last epic one and then we'll do the last legendary one. Um, but yeah, so, so with Namor, uh, I, I kind of want him to be at the higher ranks to make sure that I could finish the fight and not be in a situation where you're just like stun locking the opponent, hoping that you can finish them off before the, the stun wears off. No, like I, I want to really make sure that that happens. Um, I think he's also more useful in Alliance War situations, even though Namor doesn't get used a ton in comparison to some of the more commonly used Alliance War champs. I think he does see more play than uh, uh, Colossus does, and that would be my reasoning. But yeah, man, when it comes to rank 3 and 6 star champs, it's a totally just personalized decision. Um, both Colossus and Amor are, are good champions to, to rank up. You just got to find your reasoning for why you want to rank up one over the other. So... Uh, but yeah, man, thank you very much for the two. Congrats on having both those champs at Sig 40, honestly. Have you considered you may have the prestige you're looking for in the various champion crystals you have? Uh, which various champion crystals I have? Because I'm opening up all my six stars as fast as I get them. Like today, this is just going to give me enough to open up one six star crystal. So... There's not really other crystals that I have that are going to give me prestige. Like, I have the six stone crystals. And I'll also get more six star shards from duping five stars. So, technically, I do have some six star shards saved away in those. But it's not enough. It's not enough to give me a, um, like, even one more six star crystal. You need, like, 37 dupes to get a, um, to get enough of, like, the next higher, uh star level and yeah i think i have i think i have about eight five star crystals that i can pop open right now or something like that so yeah unfortunately there's not really much prestige to be had in uh in my crystals it's mostly iso stuff let's get some pre-fight going You have Cav Crystals? Oh, Cav Crystals. Well, technically I have Cav Crystals with, uh, with units. So that's a thing, yeah. Um, <laughs> but it's not really a good idea. If you mean free Cav Crystals, I actually popped those open somewhat recently here. I Maybe I have one more Cav Crystal or something now. But, uh, I, I popped all those open. Jacob Dizanos and an over two. Thank you, dude. Let's see where you're at. UG, when are you going to do a five star opening? APOC is in the basic now. Yeah, I'm still thinking about exactly what I want to do. So I'm actually. I was thinking about this last night. I'm actually thinking about popping open the, the, the basic crystals rather than the, the specific class ones for two reasons. Number one, I need ISO of other class types besides just mutant and skill. And number two, I kind of miss doing the, the old, the way that I used to pop open five stars where, uh, you know, like I put all the pictures on, on screen of the champs that I um, wanted and stuff like that. And uh, I wouldn't be, I wouldn't do it all the time. I would go back to the dual class crystals in maybe my next opening or something like that. But I'm thinking it could be fun just to do more of an old school style. Hey, I need a, I need a bunch of champions from different class types. Let's just 
see what happens if I pop open the basics. So, that might be my next five-star opening. I'm thinking about it. Uh, Maximus, sending over five. Thank you, dude. Saying, is it bad? I've been chanting Falcon Dupe for the entirety of the stream whilst I work. Um, I don't think I have a, a, a Falcon at all as a six-star, dude. <laughs> Wait, do I? Cause I have I haven't duped as a five star. Dude, I'm gonna I'm gonna check after this. I've got one more run to do after this. Um, I want to make sure that I get that in before I screw anything up. But I don't think I have a six star falcon. Um, I wouldn't mind pulling six star falcon though. Uh, Skeletor sending over five. Thank you, dude. Saying by the power of Grayskull, you shall have Doom today. I also yoloed some rank ups after missing Strife in the arena. Uh, check that tweeter, please. Sure. And Skeletor, if I get Doom, then I have you to thank for giving me the the, the power of Grayskull to pull a uh, a Doom, because that that's the number one pull right there. That is number one. Uh, but let me see a tweeter. I think I won the game, right? Uh, oops. Oh, my goodness. These are your, these are your new rank-ups? Dude, sorry to hear you missed Strife in the arena. Does anyone know what he went for? I know Karate Mike got him with a pretty high score, but... He wasn't, uh, like the 300 spot. You know what's funny? I was actually thinking about ranking up my 6-star rocket to rank 2. So, let me show you guys something real quick. This is total conspiracy theory mode active right here. But in a good way. Hold on. Need to pull up the forums. Okay, so looking at the, the news articles here, we've got the version 30 release notes. Let's click on that. bug fixes there's there's a bug fix here for rocket raccoon how long has this guy been in the game and they're just now fixing a bug with his uh signature ability description or whatever like it's i mean it's less of a bug fix and more of just like an update right uh, but then also fixed the issue where the signature uh it was calculating one less i guess but anyway the point is what are they why, why are they doing this now to rocket maybe let's think about it maybe he's getting a rework i don't know <laughs> i i wouldn't i wouldn't go out there ranking uh ranking up champs um based on that okay because we've seen plenty of bug fixes for champions that that don't get reworked all right but i'm just i'm very hopeful rocket at one point in time he was my favorite champion in the entire game all right, so that that was he was my first favorite actually, when the game when I first downloaded the game he was my first ever favorite champion, so I'm really hopeful, and I have a six star at Sig twenty, and also um, I have a lot of tech tier four class catalyst in the overflow. If I didn't have the tech in the overflow. Like, that's, that was one of the reasons why I started looking around. Like, oh, man, who could I even use these these catalysts on? And that's when Rocket and, you know, just putting these things together. We'll see what happens. <laughs> so, max out Rocket. Got it. Oh, God. Please don't. Uh, B. Daniels. And over Bucks saying, so just found out my nephew, Grant Daniels, watches you and not me. Dang, dude. Well, shout out to uh, Grant Daniels. <laughs> uh, and did you say Rocket? I did. I know you got that Rocket too, B. Daniels. Maybe uh, maybe all's forgiven if he ever does get buffed. We'll see. Um, Alright. I, I, I technically have the shards now, but I want to just finish this up. So, sorry everyone. We got to go through one last time on Legendary now. Make sure joining. Okay. All right. So after this run, the six star opening. 
Uh, oh, and before I before I do open the six star, I'll, uh, I'll I'll check my six stars just to see what I have because I might have forgotten if I had a falcon, but I don't think I do. But let me uh, let me finish this up real quick. I'll try to make it quick. I'll try not to go on too many wild tangents and uh, actually focus up on the fight here a bit, so we can. Uh, Actually, see what is waiting inside the six star crystal. Imagine six star Hyperion. Yeah, I would love a six star Hyperion to go along with my my six star rank three Morning Star. Oh man, incursions better watch out. Start running those tornies. UG, I never thought getting suicides cost a good bunch of units. Oh yeah, dude, it's very expensive. Very very expensive. Daniel sent it over another bug. Thank you, dude. Saying, all be forgiven. Uh, we will knock it down to three beers you owe me if buff is good. Okay. Not bad. Only three beers? Can make that happen. Dude, that's just splitting a six pack between us. You totally do that. Uh, yeah, thank you, dude. Appreciate it. another buck. When it's a bit, probably Friday. Time is it for you guys? Right now it's 3.06 p.m. Starting a five-hour drive, BG. You gonna stick around to entertain me? Nope. I'll, I'll be done here in like another... Uh, got about 10 minutes probably, Dysentery Joe. Probably another five minutes to finish up this quest. Another five minutes to get screwed over opening up a six star, give or take. I know it's a dumb question, but I want to see how people respond. Is a tier is a ten percent tier five class Kalos greater value than a five star awakening gem? Um, so it just depends on on where you're at in the game. Uh, for cer like certain players already have a ton of five star awakening gems to the point where they they can't make use of them anymore. They're almost have no value left in them. But um, if you're not at that point in the game yet, 5-star Awakening Gems have tremendous amounts of value. Um, for someone like Lags Jr., for example, or, you know, it doesn't have to be a, a, a new-ish account. It just depends on where you're at. Ten mins? I, I won't even get to the freeway before that. Well, James sending over another buck. Thank you, dude. Saying, is hype bugged? Uh, whenever I try to heal, I hold block and the timer counts down, but the regen uh, never triggers. So you have to have three cosmic charges in order for the healing to activate. And um, what can happen is you can start the timer when you have three, but his cosmic charges get converted into power gain if, if you're not at max power. So... It's not that... You, you can still activate the healing when you're not at max power, but it's a lot easier to do it when you are at max power. This way, your cosmic charges aren't getting converted to uh, power gain buffs. Uh, it'd be a lot easier to explain with a visual aid, but yeah, that's, that's how it works. You need to make sure you have those three cosmic charges, otherwise the healing won't activate. We open a pull. I mean, Doom is number one, but there's a bunch of champs that I wouldn't mind pulling. Um, a lot of them prestige based. Silver Surfer is probably number two of who I want. Um, Awakening my Thor Ragnarok would be really good. Namor would be really good. I, I do have a Mute Awakening gem. Sunspot would be great. Um. Awakening my Cap Marvel, awakening my Sorcerer Supreme, just pulling Claire for the first time. Uh, awakening my Warlock here. How could I forget? I'm literally playing the dude nonstop these days. Uh, awakening my Colossus, awakening my Magneto, awakening my Gambit, pulling Falcon for the first time uh, as uh, Maximus. <laughs> would make Maximus pretty happy seeing Falcon pop out. Um, Yeah, there's so many champs that I want. Awakening my thing. What are your opinions on ranking up Namor? He's a great champ. 
I think he's a great champ to to rank up. You mean like my five generic five star awakening gems? Yeah, something like that. You want Mole Man? That's true. I do want Mole Man or a lot of the newer soon to be buffed champs or basically buffed at this point. All right, we got like what two fights to go? Actually, there we go. That's I mean I I don't technically I don't even have to do these two fights or three fights I think it is, but you know what? Uh, I think there is there there's so there is still like some six star shards for completing each one of these, right? I might as well. So close. Don't waste stuff on Thor Rag. Um, no, I, I would I would rank him up. I would take him to rank three instantly if I uh, awakened him. Listen, he's not the he's not a great champ. Uh, he, it's a struggle to even call him a good champ, let alone a great champ. Um, but his prestige is through the roof, and I need prestige. Aside from loving Falcon's playstyle, his prestige is on point. Is his prestige good? I don't know if I ever really looked at Falcon's prestige, or if I did, I I just forgot. you can crank your prestige if you just open a zillion calves with your units. Uh, you were expecting to spend them on Cyber Weekend. What are you saving these for? Um, dude, it's a very low chance to get six stars out of calves. If I could actually open a zillion, yeah. I could crank my prestige, but how many do you actually think I can open up? I, I, you know, I might get one six star champion out of the... If I, if I zeroed out my units, I could get anywhere from like zero to three if I got lucky. <laughs> Averaging like um, one or two or something like that. And those one or two is no guarantee that they're going to be the, the prestige champs, you know? Um, the units, they're getting saved for future content like the follow-up to the Abyss or... Gifting uh, 2021 is probably going to have a higher rate of uh, six stones compared to this year, right? It's kind of expected. Units don't go bad, guys. Just keep that in mind. All right, we are done. Oh, the side, <laughs> side quest is finally done, man. I never have to go into this stupid arcade system ever again. Whew. John Law sent it over Buck. Thank you, dude. Saying I chose to rank up. Uh, hold on. I cho oh, chose the rank up side quest because I needed the tier 5 class goddess for my first rank 3 Iron Man Infinity War, but the 25 star 6 stone crystals and the epic uh, don't seem equal value to the 2006 star shards. Thoughts? No, they're definitely not. Um, the 2006 star shards are way better than the 25 star 6 stones these days. Um, so, yeah. Uh, I mean, it's the choice you make. Uh, it seems like it was a good choice that you made, but that's why a lot of people ended up going shards, because it it was better. But, all right. Uh, gonna hide overlay stuff here to not get distracted anymore. Appreciate all the, all the support you guys have given. Um, but let's go pop open a six-star. Oh, 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 real quick. I did want to see my, my six-star roster, and then we can pop open this, this uh, six-star. A lot of people are saying Doom. I, I hope that is the case, guys. Um, let's clear this profile pick real quick as well. All right, six star roster really fast here. Do I actually have a Falcon? Uh, no, I do not. Yeah, he's all grayed out. Um, okay. So yeah, Cat Marvel would be great to get the Warlock dupe. I mean, we just talked about it, I guess. We don't need to talk about it again. Let's go pop this six-star crystal. I'm going to check my calf crystals here, too. Yeah, I only have one calf crystal, so I'm not even going to bother opening that right now. Um, okay. The six-star crystal to end all six-star crystals. Let's hope, man. 
Come on, let this be Doom so that I could pick a different class type for the Abyss Nexus. It's an incredible long shot here uh, if this would be Doom, but it's possible, man. Crazier things have happened in this game. <laughs> Come on, Doom. That Guardian popping up nice and quick in there. Void is another one. I didn't mention Void before, but Void would be good on top of all the prestige champs like Silver Surfer being second. Uh, most wanted. I mean, he's he'd be the best for uh, long-term prestige, but he'd be second most wanted to me for uh, uh, compared to Doom. Uh, Ghost is in there. It would be great for future Legends runs, potentially. Archangel, ooh, it tapped on its own. Come on, what do we got? What do we got? The master plan. That was not the master plan right there, man. <laughs> I don't know whose plan that was, but that wasn't my plan, dude. Oh. <laughs> All right. Well, I it was worth a shot, man. It was worth a shot. It looks like uh, I will be going for the mystic uh, selector. The mystic, myst mystic abyss nexus. Um, it's probably going to be this Friday. I got to just double check some things to confirm that, but, uh, yeah, I really didn't need the extra SIG levels on MODOK here. Uh, <laughs> I mean, first time awakening, I guess that's cool. The silver stars on, uh, the big potato. Sure. Um, does he have high prestige? You know what? I should check that real quick. Uh, if he has high, low-level uh, SIG prestige. Low, low SIG level prestige. Let's see. Six star, rank three. Uh, start by SIG 20. I saw Mordo. I thought this was Modoc for a second. Let's look at just science. No. Nope, he doesn't even crack 11,000. That's SIG 20. Okay. Yeah. It's not going to help too much. Okay. Um, well, thanks for tuning in, guys. There was a couple more Super Chats here. Jacob Tizano sent over another buck. Your message might be gone at this point. Yeah, your message is gone. Sorry, dude. That's why I said... Uh, Hiding the uh, the overlay stuff and everything. Um, when I go to open up the crystal. Thank you very much for the buck, dude. Uh, and Maximus sent over five saying, Mo don't. <laughs> uh, yeah, Mo don't indeed. I actually like Modok too, man. If he just got a little bit of a a buff offensively, he's fine defensively, so he'll probably he probably won't get a buff. Because he's, he's already a pain when fighting against him, but... I actually like playing Modok. Maybe maybe if they just gave him a synergy. A good offensive synergy. He's got a few, but they're, none of them are, like, game-changing. So, if he got a good um, offensive synergy, that could be a potential future rank-up. So. Is all of chat, like, two minutes behind? Some people are behind because YouTube was lagging, so, yeah. Uh, Chris Russell sent an over five as well. Thank you, Chris. Saying ABG started watching uh, for the game, but return for the jokes. Dude, five star rank three name or today. Uh, also got five star unduped uh, red mags. Just uncollected. Which one? Ooh. Um. I I I would say red magneto. Your next big goal in the game is probably doing like a single clear of, um of act five and red magneto is going to be great for that the final ultron boss he's also going to be good as you push on into the cavalier zone um so yeah i would go red mags for sure man uh namor is great and you'll rank him up later on in the future but i'd go red mags dude thank you very much for the five uh, Skeletor also sent over two, saying, I failed you, I'm sorry. It's okay, Skeletor. It's alright, man. Um, 
Jacob, I just tried looking for you again. Still don't see a message. So yeah, it's it's for sure gone. But okay, I, I think that's going to do it for today, guys. Uh, well, I'll be back later tonight. Um, thank you all very much for tuning in. Uh, big shout out to Enzo. The one and only for for uh for being Enzo. Not even for not even for being the big D. Just shout out to Enzo for being Enzo. Uh <laughs> but also for being the big D. And um Ooh, Taters, dude. Can we do a monster raid on Taters, please? Everyone. Taters, super cool dude. There's a thousand people in here right now. I'm gonna link you to Taters. He's doing a sabotage uh, incursion tournament. Um which, yeah, you can see the rules in his stream. But basically, you're, you're competing against your incursion partner. So, it's pretty cool. So, uh, hit up hit up Taters. Show him some love. And I'll, I'll be back later on tonight in about seven hours. All right. Later, everybody. Forgot to click the button. Oh, look.